Wednesday. I almost said it was Friday. It's definitely not Friday. My name is Julia. Welcome to my channel if you guys are new here or welcome back if you're always here. If you are new here, I'm an extra tech and I'm currently training into CT and MRI. It is 7.56 so I'm gonna head into work. I'll try to show you guys bits and pieces of my day. I can't obviously show you anything that has like patient identifiers or any patient scans or anything but I'll try to show you guys what would be similar to something that I do in the day. So like other people's images that I find on Radiopedia or something. But anyway, I'm gonna go to work. I'll talk to you guys probably at lunch. I got home around five o'clock because we got off a little bit early. My lashes are insane right now, but whatever. So clearly it changed into some comfy clothes. That is a must when I get home from work. And I'm actually just washing some scrubs tonight, taking it easy. Today at work, I kind of floated in between all of the modalities pretty much. 
Today was pretty slow for appointments, so I helped out in x-ray, I helped out in CT, and I helped out in MRI. I also shout out in ultrasound. I just watched an OB exam, and then in x-ray I did a standing pelvis with a lateral hip, and then we did a C-spine with flexion extension. After lunch, I did a lumbar CT, and then we did a lumbar MRI at the end of the day. So it was a pretty slow day, but I still helped out and learned how to scan stuff in, scan patient reports and things like that. So today was definitely more of a relaxed day, but we have some more patients to do tomorrow in CT and MR, so I'm excited to help out with those. Also, if you guys watched my last video and you heard about my story with my IV, I tried out on Monday at work and I did two IVs on my coworkers and they went amazingly well. So I figured out what my mistake was and I wasn't holding the end of the catheter high enough, so I wasn't holding pressure high enough on the bicep area so i figured out my mistake and learned from it so hopefully that doesn't happen again it might happen again if you guys watched that video you would know i was a little traumatized but and then i actually did a real patient iv yesterday so that went really well too of course ivs are a challenge for a lot of people so i don't take it too personally but just something that i wanted to learn from and hopefully not repeat that mistake. I got Panteros and Starbucks for lunch just because they were pretty close to each other so I just picked that up because it's easier than coming home and eating a frozen meal here. I try not to spend money out every single day for work but occasionally I like about once a week I'll try to grab something for lunch. I don't know what we'll do tonight but I'm gonna lay down and maybe take like a 30 minute nap. My eyes are just like a little sore, you know, when you like have your contacts in and you're staring at the screen for too long, they feel like sore and tired. So I'm gonna lay down for a little bit, maybe take a nap, and then probably we'll just hang out and relax for the night. You guys know how I am. I'm not that exciting, but I just thought I would take you guys along with me on a work day. So time for a nap. almost 9 30 and i just realized that i forgot to make coffee for myself for tomorrow because i only have like this much left so i'm gonna make some coffee i just make a full pot like this let it cool and i leave it in the fridge so i have iced coffee in the mornings by now i'm sure you know my favorite coffee is copper moon coffee i love it It's done brewing. I'll just leave it on one of these little trivets, which I got at Home Goods, and I'll let it do its thing, cool off a little bit, and then eventually I'll put it into a mason jar, which I actually need four. Then I'll have coffee for a few days, which is nice that I don't have to buy like a huge thing of coffee because that's like five dollars for a large one, and you only get like three or four coffees out of it. So one bag of coffee, you get tons of pots of coffee out of. So.
added a number to the bed after my nap. Love that. Thank you.